Hey there everyone, this is your host Scotty Oka and welcome back to Anime Studio Simulator for the Steam and BC. So let's go on ahead and start our new week off. Yes, they're very friendly. I've learned a lot from them too, especially about animating characters. That's great. I'm glad to be here with you as part of this team. If I was at home or on vacation, I doubt I have this, I'd have learned this much about animation or made new friends. It's nice, and no, it's nice to know you're enjoying yourself. What about Sumiko? She feels the same way. At first, it was tough for us to adapt and learn while working with Zekoi Studios, but we've motivated each other to stick with it. What made it so difficult? For me, drawing the keyframes was the hardest part. It's complicated. You need to decide each composite or each position and expression a character should have. The director helped me with that. With his guidance and p constant practice, I finally improved. Wow, so you started out working on the keyframes? Huh, <laughs> of course not. I started out working on in-between animations before I progressed to the keyframes. It's pretty rare for someone like me to be allowed on, to work on keyframes at all. Really? Then why do you let you do it? After she says that, she realized it could have been taken as an insult. Not that I doubt you or anything, I just mean, it, since it's so rare. Don't worry, I understand. It's because our team is Zekoi Studio's client. If I worked for them, I'd definitely only draw in between animations for some time. As it is, our relationship with them means I was allowed to try. I see, I see. So, what's your current progress? I started coloring the keyframes today. Coloring them is much easier than drawing them. I'm glad to hear it. Keep up the good work. Yukari gets back to work. Happy to know Zotkoi Studios is nurturing the sisters' talent and helping them improve and happier to still see them how relaxed and satisfied Yuka is with the situation. Motion catches her eye, and she glances up. Mayumi is dancing in her seat. Actually, before, was, before we continue, I want to actually go on ahead, check out the status. Okay, opening ending is currently at 3 out of 5. Soundtrack is at 4. Animation's at 5. Yeah! Animation's at 5. Storyboard's at 5. Character development's at one and a half. What's the uh, member? He's stressed again, so I have to make sure that he's... At the beginning of the next uh, work week, I gotta make sure he's not... He's taking a break. Okay, she's fine for now. She's fine for now. She's fine for now. She's got to take a break next week. Unless it is... What is it I need to do for the sound? Voice acting. If it's voice acting, I think, that's when I need to probably step in, maybe? Um, or the opening and ending. Soundtrack's 4 out of 5, so I'm feeling pretty confident about it. You seem to be in a good mood. Hmm? Oh, I was listening to some vocal blade songs to see if I could get some inspiration for the soundtrack. This one's pretty catchy. Want to hear it? Yeah, sure, why not? Mayumi takes her headphones and passes them to Sumiko, who puts them on. After a few minutes, she takes them off again. Well, it's all right. What do you mean, it's all right? It's amazing. Millions of people love this song. It's even been included in live Vocaloid concerts around the world. Live Vocaloid concerts? Yukari has gone to concerts before. During live concerts, the, the singer performs on stage. Vocaloid songs, however, have no singers. You just compose them by using voice banks. How do you have a concert without a singer? They have a live band playing, yeah, live band playing, and the character's image is projected onto the stage. It's really cool. You should come to one of those concerts sometime. I see. That sounds awesome. And strange. People really go to concerts for a virtual singer? Tell us about the concert, Mayumi. But leave him here. Take us to the concert, Mayumi. But leave him here. Hmm. Indeed. Speaking of music, though, didn't you promise to let us listen to the soundtrack? Oh, that's right. Give me a second. I'll plug the headphones so everyone can hear it. Or I'll, I'll unplug the headphones so everyone can hear it. Yukari, I like your opinion on which of these songs fit best for Blaze Chains of Conspiracy's mood. Okay. That one's possibly for the exciting scenes. Or... Two. This one, I've also considered a tone like this. Hmm. Hold on, one. I'm gonna. Or even bike. I can't hear it. Uh. 
Uh, a second song. Ow. No, 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 go back. Since it's a lot of action, let's go with the second song. The first one sounded too happy for Blaze Chaser Conspiracy. Okay, thanks for your feedback. The music sounds great. Listening to the song makes much more sense than going to a live, going to a concert with a virtual singer. Miami, I changed my mind. Drag him to the next concert to make him understand. Sure. Wait, don't I get a say in this? Nope. Cause you're a dude. He and Sumiko argues a little further, but then everyone gets back to work. Ikari offers Mayumi a little more input on the music throughout the day, and by the end, she's fat satisfied with the current progress of the OST for Blaze Chaser Conspiracy. Ikari, look at this. Ikari hurries back to her desk, expecting to see something about the show. Instead, there's a blue plush toy of some sort on the computer screen. Isn't this the cutest thing ever? It's certainly... Uh... She stares at the fluffy doll, at a loss for words. Wait, don't tell me you're not a fan. I have no idea what it is, to be honest. Nothing much. It's just a mascot for the hottest new anime around. Oh, oh nothing much. Just a mascot for the hottest new anime around. There we go. That's the, the right inflection. Hey, if you're not a fan, that's fine. That's com competition. Competition? These toys are pretty rare. You can only get them as prizes from certain crane machines. And you know how tough it is to win those. I haven't won one. I haven't won yet, but I want one. Oh, I see. Hey, Shunsuke. Yeah? For a moment, Yukari is afraid she's going to show him the doll, too. To her relief, she closes the window as she turns to face him. When do we get to see our website? It's not ready yet. Huh? I thought you started working on one last week. Making a website is difficult. It takes time. Can't we use one of those website templates you can find online? We could, but that might betray a bad image of Blaze Chaser Conspiracy. A professional looking website will help us market the show and keep fans updated on its progress. Try searching for some anime websites. They look great, right? I can assure you they aren't built on those templates you mentioned. Templates don't allow much creative freedom as companies have as companies like to have. Shusuke's right. I did some research on web development, and it wasn't over and it was overwhelming. Oh, okay. I thought you could build a website by dragging and dropping elements on the page. You're not entirely wrong. It's possible to build a website using drag and drop. I've done it before, actually, and I've actually built a website um, through Dreamweaver back in high school. Do they even make Dreamweaver anymore? I don't know. That's a good question now. I wonder if they still make Dreamweaver. But that wouldn't be a good fit for Blaze Chaser Conspiracy, since our page's layout would be more complex. Does it have to be complex? Some people prefer simple websites, you know. Hmm, why don't we vote on which kind of website we should make? Better late than never. Fair enough. Ikari asks everyone for their opinion. Tumiko joins Shusuke in favoring a professional website. Why Mayumi thinks it would be better to create a website using templates for now to keep the cost low. As for Yuko, she's fine with both options. Hmm. By the way, if you want a truly professional website, we should hire someone else to do it. I'm still a beginner after all. Oh, come on. We don't have to go that far. Why don't you decide, Yukari? Well, okay. How much is it? Free website. Since we have limited funds to work with, I suppose we shouldn't spend too much on the website. I'll look online for a suitable template. Thanks, Shusuke. With her plan for the website decided, everyone gets back to work. Ikari contacts Sumiko's friends to check out on their progress. To her delight, they're almost done with their work on the first episode already, and they ask if they can meet with her the, the next morning about it. For once, everything is going well. Wow, Blaze Chaser Conspiracy is getting quite a lot of attention online. Asozo invited me to an interview for inspiring anime producers. Yeah, uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Mm, mm, yeah, yeah, going to make an anime. Gonna make an an- okay. Really? That's awesome. You should go. Think the publicity this interview will bring. Asozo is very well regarded in the anime industry. I don't know. The last interview conducted by Azozo ruined an aspiring producer because the focus shifted from anime to his private life. 
Uh, why doesn't she do it? Why don't you go? Me? Yes, yeah, since you think it's a good idea. Well, all right. Ikari meets up with Sumiko's friends in the morning, and they head to Zekoi Studios together. There, she re she's relieved to find everything in order. The animation for episode one of the show is complete. My Im Hold on one second. All right, sorry about that, everyone. Okay, so let's go on ahead and continue. Mayumi, take a look at the completed animation work for episode one. It's so cool. Oh, it's already finished? Let me have a look. Ikari shows Mayumi a few sections of the animation. She can barely contain her happiness, but nothing compared to Mayumi, who jumped around and uh, who jumped up and down in excitement. It's so surreal to see our characters come to life, Sumiko. Yuko! Sumiko, Yuko! What is it? Come see, come see! Is something wrong? Yukari brought the animation files for episode one. As the sisters hurry to Yukari's desk, a puzzle Shunsuke joins the group. What's all the commotion about? Take a look! Yukari shows them all the few all a few sections. Oh, shows them all a few sections of episode one's a animation. Wow! These animations are uh, I The animations are much better than the previous ones. Very nice. We owe it to your friends, Sumiko. They totally smashed my expectations. Not only were they re were they efficient, but they also were able to match our anime's art style within a short period of time. I told you they'd be great, didn't I? Still, I expected some hiccups along the way, but it went so smoothly. When we worked on our manga together, my friends were great. That's why I recommended them. Yeah, I'm really grateful for them. I say this puts us in a good position, doesn't it? Yep, we could probably finish the remaining animation work within two weeks at our current play pace. After that, we can start filming. Filming? In other words, editing and digital digitizing the frames on the computer. After that, it'll be time to, for post-production editing, adding the music, advertisements, and so on. We're almost there, guys. The end is in sight. I'm glad we're doing so well, Ikari, but aren't you forgetting something? I am. You mean you don't remember? My goodness. Huh? It's Wednesday. Wednesday. Oh! In all her excitement about animations, Yukari almost forgot the next recording session was scheduled for today. I'll get my things ready and head to the studio right now. Thanks for reminding me. Anytime. Sorry, I'll be si Sorry, I'll be singing in today's recording session. Uh, Yukari can't help but feel nervous when she arrives at the recording studio. They're almost done with recording the show. If anything goes wrong today, it'll be a major setback. Oh good, you're here early. Oh good, you're here early. Here are the lyrics for the opening and ending themes. If there's anything you think should be changed, let me know now. We'll start recording as soon as you're ready. All right. She takes the pages from him and looks them over. It feels surreal to read the lyrics written for Blaze Chaser Conspiracy. She's read anime theme songs many times before, but always as a consumer. Still, everyone is counting on her. So she'll do her best. From the lyrics alone, she can't quite imagine the beat. But it certainly looks like it should be a fast-paced music per perfect for an action anime. She turns to tell the director she's ready and, colli and collides with someone. Ah, I'm sorry. No need to apologize. It was my fault. I didn't expect to see you today. Aren't we done recording the lines? Indeed. I'm come to perform the opening and ending themes. Perform? You were just reading the lyrics. You sing? Indeed. Though it may surprise you, I'm capable of many tasks. I didn't mean... Uh, maybe we should get started. Before we begin, I was looking through the audio files again, and there's a concern we need to address. What is it? Her heart pounds. She doesn't want to hear anything cold wrong today. The opening song is two minutes long. The ending song is about a minute thirty seconds long. Judging from the, by the previous recording sessions and the typical commercial breaks, your episodes will go over their allotted time by about thirty seconds if something isn't cut. We don't want we don't want that. We can't cut the time off from the episodes themselves. 